Hey everybody, I'm about to do an unveiling of something I've been pretty excited to get. Um, being a huge fan of the X-Files, I came across this guy named Kyle Hukalak on the internet. Uh, and he's a great special effects artist. And he had a Fluke Man uh, bust. And I saw it as something he just created not too long ago. And I contacted him and we worked out a deal. And uh, I've got the package unwrapped and about to break it open and see what it looks like. Came all the way from Canada. So hopefully it made it in one piece. I'm very excited to get this and hopefully this will meet all my expectations here. Let's see how we can get this out. I'm just gonna try to pull it out all at one time maybe. This comes with a stand. And there's that. So let's see if we can get the rest of the big guy out of here. Alright. Looks like he's packed it pretty well, so we'll just try to <clears throat> unwrap it, hopefully one piece at a time, until we get through to it all. Sure, there's probably a lot of fans out there of the X Files, and uh, this particular episode, the Fluke Man was in, is called The Host, and uh, very memorable. I'm seeing some daylight here. Can okay, flip it over? This is wow. Here we go. There he is in all his glory. This beautiful looking guy. The good old fluke man. Definitely wouldn't want to see this guy in, in the flesh in any kind of a water treatment plant or a porta potty. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna see if I can slide the base onto it here without making too much damage. Okay. See that? Wow. So I'm gonna roll him around here and try to get my head on shot. That's him. Pretty amazing detail. I don't know if you guys are seeing this um, in high clarity. Hopefully you are with my camera phone. This is dragon skin silicone. Um, and it's pretty amazing I'm just looking at the details I'm, I'm taking this in just like you guys are I think he said those are acrylic or plastic dental teeth um, these things here the the fangs Wow <clears throat> excuse me I've been looking for a bust of fluke man for quite some time and you just don't really see that you see plenty of Friday the 13th and other horror things but you know this guy there's a good side view of him I don't know if y'all can see this or not he's actually got some tiny bits of hair there in the top and that's pretty creepy looking maybe that'll focus in you probably are seeing it now yeah detail work looks awesome the paint looks awesome like I said, this comes with its own stand that I slipped it on. He really worked with me on a price that, because I don't know these things. You got you can go on his website. I think it's called Makeup and Masks FX. I'm sorry, I don't know it off the top, of it, but Kyle Hukalak, and uh, you can look him up or Google him, and he'll have a homepage. He has a, a regular website, but I actually contacted him through his Facebook page. Amazing work. I mean, he. there's plenty of other masks that I'd love to have from him, like he does Friday the 13th stuff. And, uh, wow, this is just pretty awesome. So this will probably go on my mantelpiece uh, in my X-Files. Um, just another part of my collection. I'm just happy to have this, and uh, glad he, uh, he glad he worked with me on it because, to my knowledge, he said he was only going to make 20 of these things. And... Uh, 
the detail that goes into them is pretty elaborate. I could tell you, there's no way I'm, I'm the most unartistic person there is. And I couldn't imagine trying to do something like this, but this is my fluke man bust. You guys witnessed the unveiling just it came straight out of the box delivered straight today and it's april 2nd 2014 and uh hope you guys like this video and i uh, apologize for any of the movement earlier it was not easy to get out of the box but definitely happy to have this and uh we'll see you guys next time